everybody? Hi. I love this town. When I was coming in, there was like six chickens in the middle of the road. That's awesome. <laughs> Whose chickens? Oh, I love your chickens. I love your chickens. That, oh, I'm a big fan of chickens. They're weirdos. Anyway, my name is Dixie Beeson, and I'm, I work at Area 6 Agency on Aging in Polson. So, I'm the new Patty Kurt. I uh, am originally from Montana, born and raised girl on the south end of Flathead Lake in Polson. So, my family's fifth generation here in Montana, so Montana is pretty special to me, and especially this beautiful country. You know, I thought Polson was beautiful, but this is absolutely stunning over here, and it's the best drive over here. So, Every month we do a little senior talk. So it's kind of, it's about mm, three minutes probably. So here we go. So the M or the SMP, which stands for Senior Medicare Patrol, has been hearing about reports about wellness visit questionnaire calls. And I don't know if anybody's received these. Well, they're not legitimate. If you get one, hang up. Call your doctor's office and see if they called you. If you have given out or confirmed your Medicare number over the phone to a potential scammer, contact hashtag Senior Medicare Patrol at 406-728-7682 to make a report and get help with protecting your Medicare number. Rule out error. If you have questions about your information or yours or your loved ones, Medicare summary notices, and you guys should be getting those, or explanation of benefits, your EOB, call the provider or plan and ask for an explanation if you have a question. And you can always get help from your SMP, and if you're not comfortable with calling the provider or the plan, or if you're not satisfied with the response, call your local SMP number and we can help you. And you can call our number here in Polson, which is 883 7284 and we'd be more than happy to help you. We can help you identify and report fraud schemes and deceptive health care practices such as illegal marketing or billing for services that were never provided and you will see those on your summaries. Refer complaints to potential fraud and abusers to the appropriate entity who can intervene. For example, your HHS Office of Inspector General, Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services, state attorney general, your local law enforcement, state departments of insurance, and state Medicaid fraud control units. So, it's Can we important. have all those numbers written down? Yes, and I, I can leave a copy of this for you guys, so mm -hmm. um, okay. it'll be there. I'd like just to list phone numbers I could yeah. post sure, somewhere. Sure, absolutely, and please protect your Medicare numbers. And when in doubt, hang up because they can, or don't answer it, and they can always leave a message. <laughs> so I got a joke for you. So th these are Irish patty jokes. I don't have an Irish broke, I'm sorry. <laughs> but here we go. <laughs> a farmer named Patty had a tractor accident. In court, the trucking company's fancy hotshot lawyer was questioning Patty. Didn't you say at the scene of the accident, I'm fine, asked the lawyer. Patty responded, well, I'll tell you what happened. I had just loaded my favorite cow, Bessie, into the... I didn't ask any details, the lawyer interrupted. Answer the question, please. Did you or did you not say at the scene of the accident, I'm fine? Patty said, well, I had just gotten Pe Bessie into the trailer behind the tractor and I was driving down the road and the lawyer interrupted again and said, your honor, I'm trying to establish the fact that at the scene of the accident, this man told a highway patrolman on the scene that he was fine. Now, several weeks after the accident, he is trying to sue my client. I believe he is a fraud. Please tell him to simply answer the question. By this, by this time, the judge was fairly interested in Patty's answer and said to the lawyer, I'd like to hear what he has to say about his favorite cow, Bessie. <laughs> Patty thanked the judge and proceeded. Well, as I was saying, I had just loaded Bessie, my favorite cow, into the trailer and was driving down the highway 
when this huge semi truck and trailer ran to the stop sign and smacked my John Deere tractor right in the side. I was thrown into one ditch and Bessie was thrown into the other. I was hurting real bad and I didn't want to move. However, I could hear old Bessie moaning and groaning. I knew she was in a terrible shape just by her groans. Shortly after the accident, a highway patrolman came on the scene. He could hear Bessie mooing and groaning, so he went over to her and after he looked at her, he saw that she was in a fatal condition. So he took out his gun and shot her between the eyes. Then the patrolman came across the road, gun in hand, looked at me and said, how are you feeling? Now, tell me, Judge, how would you answer? <laughs> so I'm here, um, hopefully every month, um, to have lunch with some fine folks. Uh, I do have my day planner. Um, if you guys need any help with your uh, Medicaid or any resources, uh, please feel free to get a hold of me and I will leave some business cards here and I will leave this, this uh, <coughs> talk here, okay? And thank you for letting me um, join you in lunch. You're welcome. Thank you very much.